I have got a great friend. Let's call her Loose Cannon Jones. Now, that's not her actual name, but the Loose Cannon part is definitely a part of her unofficial name, at least from me. It's a term of endearment because this is a friend of mine who is the kind of person that is there for you because when you need to point her in the direction of somebody who needs to get it, they're going to get got. You know the type. We all at least know someone like this who has the capacity and the ability to let somebody know <laughs> when they're doing something out of line. And you know the truth is, she's just about always on point with it. And there are times that we need somebody in our life. Sometimes we need to be the person who can speak truth, unwanted truth even, and confront difficult situations and attack them but we've got to remember always to do so with wisdom and to control our tongue in the godly ways that we are given that are prescribed in the Bible. You know, a fool rushes in too quickly and can get himself in a lot of trouble with words. As a pastor, I know, as a teacher, I make a living with my words and it's so easy to step on your words, to say the wrong thing, to rush in to confront a situation, let's say a leadership situation, when the better part of wisdom is to stay back and not to be a loose cannon. Jones, although there are times you need that. Listen to what the Bible says here in Proverbs chapter 18, verses 20 and 21. That's going to be our passage of Scripture this week. Wise words satisfy like a good meal. The right words bring satisfaction. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. Follower of Jesus, be very careful about simply having an uncontrolled tongue, about saying whatever is on our mind, about spouting off and spewing off. The best part of wisdom is to control the tongue and learn to tame it so that it can serve us. The Bible says that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So we've got to be careful that our mouth is always tempered by the truth and the love of God that resides in our heart, so that our words can be an accurate representation of who we really are in Christ. Follower of Jesus, I want to encourage you, tune in, show up, join in Sunday morning. Great and mighty and powerful things are happening at First Congregational Church of Naples. We are lifting high the worth of God, and God is meeting us at the point of our praise, our prayers, and our needs. Listen, God bless you. I look forward to seeing you this coming Sunday. Let's consider Proverbs 18, 20, and 21. Let's continue along this wisdom series of sermons and grow in our capacity to walk wisely in the world. God bless you today, beloved in Christ. Amen.